Hello, hello. I have a slightly more advanced kind of topic. And this is something I really did struggle with early on in my career uh, when I was getting into using databases was a lot of people start with Microsoft Access. It's a great program to get started with, obviously not an enterprise solution. But how do I copy table information from Excel and put it into Microsoft Access? Conversely, how do I grab Microsoft Access data and put it into Excel? Because they don't behave quite the same. They are similar in some respects, but they're not quite the same. So let's go ahead and do an example. Let's open up a blank Excel spreadsheet. And I'm going to do just a simple table. So we're going to go first name, last name, age, and date. Right? So I'm going to go Jed, John, Alex. Okay? I'm going to go Peter. Fred, what kind of last name is Peter? Hang on. Uh, <laughs> Peterson, Fredrickson, I don't know how to spell Alex Trebek. I just made that name up. Okay, Trebek, no, Trebek, right? Age, 30, 42, 31, okay? And the dates we're going to do is like our first of the fifth, 2018, 5th of the 7th, 2019, 3rd, 4th, 2017, okay? So just random dates. Now, if you know a little bit about databases, you know that databases have data types. I'm not going to go into that into detail. This is just about copying and pasting, right? So the first, there's a number of ways you can import into Access. One is you can do the import function or you can copy paste into a preset table. So uh, maybe I'll do both. So if I save this, right, I'm gonna save this into my downloads. I'm gonna call this my access upload, right? I'll go save. I'm gonna go and open an access database. All right, let's do a blank one. I'm gonna save it again into my downloads just so I know I can clear it out later. Let's just go okay and create. Uh, yes, I had a test one from there in the past and let's close this up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is import that information. So I can go external, new data, from file, Excel. Okay, then it's going to ask me, well, where's the file, Mr. Jed? So let's go browse, let's go to downloads, and let's look for that access upload. All right, now Excel is going to read it, uh, Excel, access is going to read it, check the data types this one we're going to leave so import means we're going to copy the table over link means if i change something in the excel it will be reflected in access sometimes it's beneficial again i'm not going to focus on that in this lesson okay and what it's done is it's checked each of the rows okay first row column contains headings that is correct next then it's going to check some of my data types so this one has been set date with time this one has been set to double, so double double precision. I think that's what it means, double precision, short text, right? Next, primary key, standard, next. And then what we want it to be called. Let's just call this Excel data, right? And we go finish, okay? It's going to tell me it's finished, and we go close. And what we'll find here is my information now in Access. Pretty cool, right? So how do we do the reverse? Let's say I want to copy this out. You can't do like Excel and click and drag. It doesn't work that way. You have to click either by rows, columns, or the entire table itself. The way I like to do it is just control A on the keyboard, control copy, or control C, Excel, wherever you're going, and control V. And that copies it into Excel, right? So you can do it that way. Another method is to actually copy paste into access all right so let me just close this up i'm going to copy this database all right and just the structure only and that means i have these fields and i want to copy paste where is this this information in here on the right okay so the way i do it is i select this i don't need the headings because the headings are already set i'm going to go Control c to copy all right and i'm going to select the columns like so. All right, let me show you again. So you're going to see this down arrow. 
select, click and drag, and then control V to paste. Yes, I'm going to add new records. Now, if you wanted to add this again, right, let's say you have new data, you do that again, it'll just keep, no, sorry, it won't add. I believe it will replace. Okay, so the way to add is you select this new record, right? The way I like to do is click here, hold shift, so I can select multiple ones and then control paste, right? Control V. And I can add as many as I like. And that is how you get information into access. So I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.